Hi, I'm Chris Gatto, Executive Chef at Uno's, and today we are going to make guacamole. You know, guacamole is a great item. It originated uh, by the Aztecs in Mexico, and in addition to its uses in Mexican cuisine and uh, modern American cuisine, it's mostly used as a dip, a condiment, but also uh, on salads and other items. First, we need some ripe avocados, which we have here. And the way you want to tell if the avocado is ripe is just by gently squeezing it. It should uh, have some uh, softness to it, but also you can tell by the color. As you can see, these have a nice uh, blackish color to them. So uh, what we're going to do with the avocado is we're going to take them, we're going to take a sharp knife, and we're going to cut them in half. Now the avocado has a pit, as you know, so what we want to do is cut the avocado in half, and then we just twist it to expose the pit. So we're going to do that to both of these. Now I've done a couple ahead of time also, which are already in the bowl. So again, we want to make a cut, one quick twist, and there we have our pit. Now just by taking the knife and putting in the sharp uh, blade into the pit in a little twist, you can remove the pit. So we do that there. I like to cut the avocado inside here. So again, taking our knife, holding the avocado in the tips of our hand, being very careful not to cut through. I'm just making uh, straight cuts one way. I'm going to turn it to make a crisscross. And these are about a quarter of an inch. We'll repeat those with the other avocados. And this is just an easier way to do this rather than taking this out, putting it on the cutting board, and then cutting it. Just saves a little bit of cleanup. And the beauty about avocado is it's got that nice creamy texture. Uh, not only are avocados good for you, but they taste great. So now that we've cut the avocado, we're going to put them into our bowl. And as I said, I had already done a few ahead of time. But we're just going to take a spoon. And again, we've already cut these into chunks. We're going to scoop them right out of the avocado. And they come out nice. Again, the avocado is ripe here, so we have no issues getting this out. Into the bowl. And in Uno's, we serve avocados a couple ways. We use avocado on our snack hour menu as a dip with some chips. We also uh, use this on our famous guacalicious burger, which is part of our summer menu. And then we also use the guacamole when it's complete in one of our great appetizers, the avocado egg rolls with tamarind cashew sauce. So we use it a lot of different ways because we love it. So here we have our avocados. They're all diced up. As you can see, nice and ripe. Now we're going to add some other ingredients to it. We have fresh lime juice that we've already squeezed. And the beauty of guacamole is once you have all your ingredients together, it's just assembling in a bowl. We have diced red onions. These are about an eighth of an inch. We're going to add the onions. We have some diced tomatoes. You can use any kind you want. These are plum tomatoes. You could use regular round beef steaks. You could use yellow tomatoes. You could use any kind of color tomatoes you want if you desire. Tomatoes go in. Fresh cilantro, fresh chopped cilantro. Already smells great. Here we have some ground cumin. Some kosher salt. I like to use kosher salt. And then ground black pepper. And this is uh, table grind, which is a little coarser than your, uh, your regular fine ground pepper. Uh, you can also adjust the level of seasonings. If you like more lime juice, certainly add more lime juice. If you like more cilantro, add more cilantro. But again, I like nice and chunky. You don't need to mix it too much. As you can see, it's all incorporated there. And you can just, oh, it just smells great. You can smell the lime and the cilantro. There you have our wonderful... Fresh, house-made guacamole. Enjoy.